You're rocking with DJ Jake Mathis. Yeah, yeah. What's going on, YouTube? DJ Jake Mathis, formerly known as DJ Cash Money. It's a story about the name change. We'll get to that in a minute. But um, today I'm going to do an equipment update. You know, I've done a gig with all this new equipment. I haven't had time to do an equipment update. Why? Because there's so many of them out there. But uh, I've had people message me and ask me why haven't I done one, so I'm going to do one today. So we're going to knock that out. And we'll talk about some other issues that's actually been on my mind for a minute. I'll see you guys in a minute. And we're back. Uh, the first thing I'm going to start off with is an all-white DJ facade I built to go with my white package, to which I call my diamond package. Um, I'm not quite finished with it, I don't think. I think it's going to be some more stuff added. You know, you see the separation there because I haven't lashed it all together. I just stood it up. Um, the white package, to me, only this is just my opinion. It came from um, C. Smith. You know, that was his, a genius idea. I'm pretty sure there's some other people out there saying, hey, I, I thought of the white package first. I heard it through C. Smith first, so I give him mad props on that because it just makes sense as far as having it for a, a wedding or a, some very elegant type formal party or a banquet. It's just, it's just perfect. It's just the perfect idea. So on my last gig, you'll see that I used this, lit it up all blue because that's what they wanted. Everything blue, didn't want no separation in colors. So uh, this is my white booth. Kind of like it, all built by hand. I'm not, like I said, I'm not finished with it. I'm gonna get in closer. So you guys, you probably can't tell, guess what? Plexiglass. I built it all with plexiglass, doing something different. As I stated, I'm not finished with it. But it will be used, you know, to do some upscale events. Next, we're going to start with these moving heads. Um, you see one of everything. It's, it's, you know, it's two or more. Actually, I just wasn't about to lug all that upstairs, which it's only one of each. So you guys get the idea. Got a couple of these. I got these from eBay. They're 60 watt moving heads from China. A lot of people use them, you know, to quote uh, what my boy C. Smith said, you know, uh, you, you see people there, yeah, they moving, they paying $900 for them ADJ or Chevette moving heads and stuff like that. You don't have to do it. You got to do what you feel. Spend your money your way. Don't do what everybody else say. Some people want to do it. Go ahead. I mean, I'm not knocking anybody. If you want to do it, do it. You know, this wasn't a money issue with me. I just got these on a great deal. They're 60 watts, fully DMXable, as you see. I don't have anything plugged up. I'm about to run everything. I'm about to jump on Show Express, Chave Show Express, so I can control these better. Because they're actually very bright. Uh, you can look on eBay and get them from anybody. They got the 30 watts on eBay, but these are the 60 watts, or so get the 60 watts. These go for about 450 each on eBay, unless you find a, a deal. You know, and I, as you see, I put them on a bracket. I gotta shave off that little corner piece of wood, as you see. But I put them on a bracket. You see, I don't know if you guys can tell. Speaker bracket onto a speaker pole. Something real simple to do. I didn't do a big block. I did a very thin piece with the brackets. So it is what it is. But I love them. I love them so far. I only got to use them that one time. Next, what you get to see is my QSC K12 and my DBX drive rack had an old rack mount case so I put it in there got a uh, power conditioner coming next that's for that second space in there for that gap um, DBX drive rack brand new um, used it on that gig with the QSC's and I didn't do the 181's because as everybody know I got four Alto tops and two Alto 18 inch subs so stuck with the subs and when I put them together both on this drive rack I was shaking the building. Them subs with, with this goes well, so I decided not to change, but as you see, I'm running the QSCs. On 
top of the QSCs, K12s, what you see is a scrub king. That's the white speaker cover that goes over something else. I got from, you know, my idea from C. Smith to complete my white package. Couple of them, got some black ones also. Didn't feel like digging them out. These was just out because it came from, you know, from that last gig I've done. Um, but these go well, man, you know. I wouldn't use them unless it was on, on, uh, on a gig, you know. You got to order that white package for them to be used. I don't just toss stuff on there because this is white. They do get dirty, so if they're going to get dirty, they're going to pay for it, believe me. All right, I think I just about covered everything other than it, like, like cords and stuff. I didn't throw up in here, you know. Um, basically showed you everything from the white facade to the drive rack to the QSC to the moving edge. You know, updating never stops. As a DJ, we're never satisfied. And if you say you are, you're not a DJ. Plain and simple. But uh, as I stated, man, you know, these guys out here, other DJs in our YouTube DJ family, um, everybody is upgrading. We, we just throw ideas to one another, and, and it keeps it, actually, <laughs> keeps us on the edge, you know what I'm saying? Because you want to do better. You got to want to do better. It's not about how much money. It's not about being cheap about it. Uh, sometimes you got to do what you got to do to get what you, where you got to be. But, uh, yeah, anyway... I gotta give out, these, these are not like personal shots out, these are just letting people know who I see as far as doing some up, updating. If I don't call your name, it's nothing personal, I just haven't seen the video of that, but you can find me on um, Facebook. Let me know, join our YouTube DJs on Facebook community. Do all that, man. Um, but, you know, when you look at people like C. Smith, that boy's always, always changing. He just... Got rid of his SZ and jumped on the Nexus 2000s. Uh, uh, Julio, uh, DJ Chomps, he got, he just did him. Uh, all white, you know, set up. Um, jumped down. He, he be coming out with, with some more stuff. I can't tell y'all, because it's his business. It's his thing. I'm going to let him tell y'all. Just look out for him. Just jam. Uh, just got uh, a whole new bunch of equipment. He just jumped on the SZ bandwagon also. Um, Johnny Rocket, Buster B Royale, everybody doing a lot of updating, you know, because it never stops. But um, to to be the best, you, you know, you got to keep buying the best. You know, it ain't about the you know, uh, uh, most expensive. It's just buy stuff that actually works and gig it how you want to gig it. But uh, it's DJJ Mathis. About to get up out of here. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Hello.